Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about the book that impressed me a lot and this is The Sun by Philip Meyer. This book was uh, published in 2012 I think and it was uh, a finalist of 2013 um, Pulitzer Prize, the year where the Goldfinch won. So I understand why this book did not won uh, the Pulitzer Prize but still it's definitely worth your attention and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. Uh, so this is a historical fiction about Texas, um, about the rise of Texas as a state, about uh, this is a coming of age story of one particular man and also this is like a dynasty story. So uh, something about uh, you know um, how uh, the memory of violence and the shadow of one particular man can haunt the whole generation, a lot of generation of people. Uh, so there are, there is three points of view in here. First and the most important is Eli uh, Makalo. Uh, Eli, uh, in 1849, he was captured uh, by Comanches. Comanches raped and um, uh, killed his mother and his sister and took him and his brother with them and then killed his brother and he saw all of it. Uh, and first, this is a trigger warning for everyone about rape and about, you know, uh, violence, uh, graphic violence. There are a lot of graphic violence things in here. Um, so uh, Eli himself was uh, took by a tribe and he was adopted by a tribe. So he became one of the Comanches. And uh, uh, this is coming of age story of a boy who uh, discover, trying to discover his place, not in the world, but in, I mean, not only in the world, but also in um, strange society for him. He know nothing, he, uh, but he still wants to be a part of it. And uh, uh, this is him growing up with Comanches for a few years. Um, and uh, uh, the history of Comanches, their culture, I don't even know how much uh, work uh, Philip Meyer put in here because uh, this is so vivid, this is so interesting, this is so detailed and as I've read true to, you know, close to the truth, um, I liked it very much. Then um, his tribe um, was deceived because of the, de uh, because of the uh, um, diseases and you know enemies and uh, um, uh, hunger and uh, he returned to white people but he is not exactly white right now because he's like in the middle he is not native american but he's also not white and uh, he does not have place in this society in any society actually and so um, he is not alone in here there are a lot of people that can't have their place but Eli has such a strength of character and uh, you know he grew so much he saw so many um, terrible things um, and he is fairly young he used any possibility to find his place and to become what he want to become and he want he want to be a free man and to be a free man it means to be a rich man and so he started this dynasty of Makalo, uh, who in this book are like the main Texas dynasty. And um, um, the second point of view is his son Peter, who is much more gentle and human. And he wants to stop this um, chain of violence in his family and around his family. But it is 1915, it is First World War and also it is border raids. So there is a huge butchery of Mexican neighbors um, and the main man who stands beside this is Eli Mekalo, the colonel, the father of Peter. And uh, uh, Peter then fall in love with wrong woman and he stand against his father and um, yeah, this is the second point of view. Third point of view is Chini or Chini Anne, I think. Makalo, he is great granddaughter of Eli and he 
um, he was with her when she was fairly young, so she remembers him being an old but capable man. And uh, uh, this is like a feminist part of a woman who also can't find her place in the society because she doesn't do she doesn't want to do womanly things. She is capable of more. She wants to do business. She wants to be uh, the head of this community and of the family. And how he again crave her part, crave her path in this world. And how she, uh, how hard it is to her to uh, make others understand that she as a woman can do all the things better than almost all the men. And uh, um, Eli Makalo is like a center figure, like a core of this novel. First, the huge part of this novel is his coming of age story, but also in other storylines, he is the man who is like a lighthouse for others. So Peter wants to be as far as possible from him. He wants to have nothing um, in common with his father. And in that he um, always think what will his father do in this or that situation and he do the opposite thing. And Ginny wants to be like a colonel. She remembers him the whole life like this iconic figure that she wants to be as close much as possible, but she can't because she's a woman. And in this world, women can't be um, close to this, um, comparable to this great man. And uh, uh, this is a very violent book. There are a lot of violent graphic scenes in here. And uh, I, I think that a lot of people could not stomach them. But it was hard for me, but if you get through it, you will understand, um, you know, the situation these people were into. Because uh, when there were so much violence against you, it's hard to not do such things like an answer to anything that you have in life. So um, we can understand almost every act of violence being in this book, why it is here, why these people choose to do this. Uh, but also we can uh, admire people who were against it and try to stop this violence. Um, in the end, this violence come in full circle and Makalois had to face it from, from the place they didn't um, see it coming. Uh, I do think this is, yeah, I, and I haven't said Ginny Makalo is like nowadays, it's 2012. Uh, and she, she is an older woman and she is remembering her life from childhood to, you know, um, grown age, her two husbands, her kids and all the stuff. Uh, there are a lot of interesting things about, uh, you know, like uh, through the time every generation is weaker and weaker more and more gentle, but not only to themselves, but to other people. They became more and more human and civilized. Uh, and uh, uh, there is no place for people like Eli McAloy um, now in our history, I think. But also uh, there is this admiration of strong and capable figure uh, and understandings how much does it take to become that huge figure in society and in history. I do think there is uh, a movie adaptation, a TV adaptation uh, of this uh, with Pierce Brosman as Eli McAloy, but I, I don't know um, could I do this, could I watch it or not, because the amount of violence in this book is pretty big and I don't want to stomach. I don't know how can I stomach it in, in TV adaptation, but uh, regardless, this is a great book. You can't put it down. Uh, you want to know what happened to every each of the character and uh, um, you begin to feel for them. Um, any of them, none of them is likable. This is the full cast of unlikable characters, but you understand them 
and uh, you feel for them and you want to bring them some peace I think so they they, they came come come calm down I don't know also I knew nothing about the history of Texas and it was very interesting uh, starting with you know uh, Native Americans with Comanches and then uh, these Mexican wars uh, border wars and then oil so uh, Makaloi they had their empire based on land and um, liver stock and uh, oil and it's so very interesting how this economic growth happened and how there were people that could change the direction of their business and of their life you know from uh, cows to oil in a snap and there were people who couldn't understand that they need to um, to changes with the history um, I highly highly recommend this book is it is as big as a life you know uh, there are some books that are so enormous inside that you uh, I mean every page is like a new world for you and I highly appreciate these books because it's like a new um, life adventure uh, which yeah now I want to visit Texas and to just to see this you know huge amounts of land um, it's interesting and it's very beautifully written there is a lot of violence in this book so uh, be prepared for that but still I highly 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 recommend this is a wonderful character study very interesting and the language is very good uh, the Sun by Philip Meyer is definitely one of the best books I've read this year. Thank you and see you in the next videos.